Good morning and welcome to this week's Trade of the Week on Monday, the 26th of February 2024. Last week, we went long the US dollar against the Japanese yen. And uh, as you can see here, so far, we are right on that trade. We were long about, uh, I think, around the 150 mark. And currently, we're trading above there. But since we haven't really seen much upside momentum here, and since the volatility has been really, really small uh, over the last week or so, I would be inclined to perhaps just cash in uh, my profits on this trade because this evening at half past 11 UK time, we've got uh, Japanese inflation data coming out and that may lead to a spike in volatility and perhaps that could uh, take us out of our trade because our stop loss is quite nearby on this one. So that is just from a risk perspective, perhaps something that you might consider doing. Now, with regards to this week's uh, trade of the week, it is perhaps a bit controversial and I wouldn't normally do something like this. And it is probably only a trade for very experienced traders. But what I'm seeing on this uh, daily S&P 500 chart is that uh, last week's record high, which was made above the mid-February high, has not been confirmed by a higher reading of the relative strength index here at the bottom of the chart. So this oscillator has made a lower high than the price target, which has made a higher high, and that is called the negative divergence. And it has happened in the overbought area above 70%. So there is a pretty high probability, in my opinion, that we may see over the next few days some sort of reversal to the downside, at least a short-term correction. And uh, it could actually lead to a more significant decline, taking us back perhaps towards the psychological 5,000 mark or so. Because after all, we've had out of the last 17 weeks since the October lows, you can see here on the left-hand side of the chart, 15 weeks of um, rising uh, prices and only two weeks of falling prices. So we may be due a correction over the next few days. So it's a risky trade, it's against the trend, um, but for all of these technical reasons, um, I'd like to go short the S&P 500. So this week's trade of the week is to go short the S&P 500 at around current levels um, with a stop loss around the 5,200 mark and a downside target around uh, 5,000 or perhaps even below there.